What's up you guys? This is your boy Beast of Mine. And I just realized I screwed up majorly last episode. Well, I wouldn't say majorly. But uh yeah, I used the Bird Prime uh, prototype twice. I could have sworn if you if you use it while it's already on, you could turn it off, but you can't. So uh, yeah, we only have one use left. Uh Because who did we get this from? Saw care. We got it from somebody. But yeah, they already used it once, so and I remember using it once on Malik, uh and I used it two other times, so that's three times, and then he used it once, so three plus one is four. So yeah, last time we uh kill we killed another Rodian and we killed the guy outside the uh one of the uh I don't know if you wanna call him gate the docks. The docks, that's what it was. So both of those were my nine kills. We're getting ready to talk to Hulas. Who is the uh he's he's oh god, what do you call it? He's a li liaison between us and the Gino Haradon. So in case you don't know, these Gino Haradon uh quests might be something to avoid if you're playing light side. But since we've been struggling lately, it doesn't hurt to get the equipment. Do the Jedi Order know about your guild? See, I haven't asked these questions. That's why I'm glad that he let us ask questions. Really, they know. They must not care, though. Yeah, see, they don't. They think you're small timers. That's smart. Who formed this guild and, how, and where did it begin? Ooh. That's quite interesting. Okay, tell me more, I guess. So then you're no different than how HK was. He worked for Masters that all they want to do is kill, uh, you know, their rivals or whatever. Oh, I see. Okay, so why haven't you assassinated Malik then? That's a good question. Ah, it would bring notice to yourself. Plus again, he is a quote-unquote Jedi of sorts. And he might be useful to you someday. And who's to say he's going to help you out? Oh, you are playing yourself. Okay. I don't have any other questions. Okay, so we still the re uh well there was a reason why I wanted to ask him those questions. Uh, I'll talk about it a little bit later, but right now what we need to do is get back to the Ebon Hawk. So we have to go back to Tatooine and back to Kashik. That's what it is, Kashik. We have to go back to Kashik. I almost forgot what planet we had to go back to. Okay. So yeah, I'm not the best at remembering these quests because 
I don't always do them because when I play light side, I don't normally do it. But this is a once in a gameplay chance, so yeah. And I highly doubt anyone wants to talk, or less Candorus does. Yeah, what he? Nope, he does Your not want to talk. I'll ask Juhani because we did level her up some as well. How may I be? Wonder if we could talk. Would like. Nothing. Of course. Oh, okay, then. so nothing else. We also have to do a couple of other things too. So, let's check the old galaxy map. And actually, uh, since we're going to Tatooine, no, since we're going, no, no, I'll wait till we go to uh, Kashyyyk. Right now, we're going to Tatooine. Okay, uh, can we? You know, I really would like to skip even this if I have the choice. But I have a very bad feeling we're going to have to play a stupid flight simulation. I don't, I don't want to do that. Okay, good. Let's go. Let's hurry up before the game changes the damn mind. Whoa. Okay, I don't know about you, but okay, when I saw that on my screen, it sort of, yeah. That seemed like a little glitch gasm. Bastila, we miss you, girl. We miss you, we miss you. Okay, anyways. Oh, who else did I say I was going to say? Oh, yeah, Candace. Let's go. So, yeah, hopefully we can get some side st stories out the way. Ugh. I swear I can't talk today. I was busy. I was busy talking earlier. So, uh, yeah. You'd be surprised. Like all my videos, like my older videos, I didn't really. Uh, what do you call it? I wouldn't say stutter, but I didn't have as much of a speech problem. But since I'm so excited about being back, oh yes. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. What the hell is your kind doing here? Bad enough I have to deal with all these other idiots, but now there's a stinking Cathar on this world, too? I have as much right to be here as you do, sir. Just ignore him, Juhani. <laughs> yeah, do like the Jedi tells you and back off. Your people are pathetic. There's Excuse no me, you fugly son of a bitch, and I'm talking about you, dude. I know enough to... Hey, wait a minute. You look familiar somehow. What? You... Wait, what? You guys know each other? This doesn't concern... Oh, hold the fuck up, motherfucker. You don't talk to me right now. You, you don't talk to me like that. Oh, it's on. You know what? Put up your dukes, dude. Okay, we gonna get him. We are gonna get him. Maybe I was wrong. Still, I think a specimen like you would be a... So, what would it take? Oh, no, you don't want to make a deal with me. I was Jedi trash. Remember that? Yeah, you ain't getting no deal off of me. She is her own person, you son of a bitch. Don't be so selfish. We both know Cathair aren't real people anyway. I suppose you're gonna say Twi'leks and Aqualish and Ithorians and like Transoshan aren't people are. either. I remember one time on Taurus. What? What did you say? Calm down, Juhani. What did you do on Taurus, you scum? Put one of you down like the animals you are. So easy. Then oh I God, I think I know what he's trying to say here. Juhani, I'm gonna need you to calm down. Remember, just, just, just calm down. What? There is no emotion. There is peace. Oh, oh, now I recognize where I've seen that face before. You were the little Cathair I was. Going oh my God. To. Those Jedi came and stole my pet away from me. You were buying Cathar slaves. When I was fighting with the Mandalorians against Okay, Juhani, I just need you to tell me when and where Candorus is right here. 
We can whoop this guy's ass. And we can do it real good. We can cover this shit up too. Plus I know Force Persuade. We can get people to forget this shit. The Sith at least let their feet. It never happened. You the whole world. Come now. Will you let your pet go? No. You said I was you said I was dry, trash. She is not for sale, you son of a bitch. And I will see you dead for what you have done to my people. Uh, hold on a second. D don't be hasty. Oh, why are you getting scared now? You had balls a second ago. Why are they retreating back inside you? There is no emotion. Come on, say it with me, Juhani. There is no emotion. There is peace. I, I will remain calm. I am a Jedi now. My lust for vengeance must be curbed. Yes, yes. Say no to the dark side. You shut your monkey ass up. I wasn't aware Star Wars Knights of Old Republic had like really cruel rednecks. I'm not talking about like rednecks. I mean like redneck, redneck. Your neck so damn red. You couldn't, you couldn't tell just between that and the sun. Even though the sun obviously is not red. <laughs> oh boy. Juhani, we need to talk, girl. Let's talk. My Cathar blood seethes at the thought of that man still running free. I cannot stand still while I think about it, but but I will not give in to the dark side either. He will pay for his crimes, though. He will most likely be following us, me. If we could find him first, then he may not be able to set in motion whatever he has in store for us. Uh, Candorous, do you have anything to say about this? Yeah, what are you... Do you know anything about this world that we've been on already? Tatooine is one big desert with rocks sticking out. I heard that the world of my clan. There are some. Oh, okay, okay, I get it. You Your choice. Ah, <sighs> good lord, Juhani. You didn't tell me. And the worst part is, he's not even a smart guy. He's a freaking. Oh my god, he's a bantha of a damn hillbilly. Like, he makes all hillbillies look bad. Well, anyway, we came here for two reasons. Well, really it's one, but later on it'll be two. So... Uh... Okay, yeah, so we got this threat from Zor. We, we really don't give a fuck about him right now. Fuck him. Oh, yes, he does have an assault. Okay. Now, if I'm not mistaken, he's out there in the crate sea somewhere or the, whatever the heck you call it. I don't remember what you call that place. We got to get our anchor head first, which anchor head. Oh, my God. Take such a long time to hurry up and get to this damn gate. Hmm. Oh, it's you again. No, good hunting out there. Yeah, maybe we can find some dewbacks or something. I can't believe that happened. Oh, poor Juhani. I had a feeling like she, like, because when we talked to her left, she, like, she kind of trailed off. Then again, she always does that with her conversations, and she always held out, she always held back stuff from her past. Okay, so it's the, oh, Eastern Doocy, that's why I'm gonna say, Eastern Dunes, yeah. Okay, so, yeah. But yeah, it's funny, like, Looking at my new videos, it's like I can tell that my voice impediment is coming out more than my old videos, but I'm more, it's, it's, I would say I'm a little bit more professional with it, even though I, I cuss more. <laughs> like, me, I was always, like, I always left gaps between what I said and, you know, so it's like, it's not so much like I can't articulate what I, I have to say. My brain and my mouth move at different rates. 
like my brain moves around like so fast my mouth doesn't know exactly what it wants to say it happens well at least to me it does <laughs> so in other words my mouth moves faster than my mind like it, it does so yeah oh look aren't the do back adorable I'm over Bantha guy. Gotta be honest with you. Yeah, yeah. I, okay, how can that do back get sustained there? I don't want to hear that. Well, anyways. Actually, wait. Okay, I don't exactly remember where he is. I know he's somewhere. He's somewhere around here, but there's two openings. So, oh crap, I used force resistance. Did not mean to do that. Okay, so, wait, where's the other... Okay, that's over there. And I'm actually going to save, because I'm pretty sure our butts will probably get, uh, quote-unquote, waxed. <laughs> We've had enough problems in Tatooine. Go back and look at the videos, see what I mean. Episode, what is it, 40 something? 30 something, 40 something? Check out those Tatooine's episode. We got, we just got wrecked. Badly. I mean, like, really badly. Wait. Okay, those are. I just want to make sure that there's nothing over here. There shouldn't be. I think that actually now I think about it, I think they're in a dune sea instead. I'm not sure we have to meet him alone, but I don't I don't recall that happening. Like I know you have to meet um Hulis alone, but anybody else you don't have to. And I know it's not in here. There's no way it's in here. Okay, we can turn back around. <laughs> So, yeah, Juhani found her captor. And I believe he was also the guy. Don't quote me on this. It seemed like he might have been the guy that killed either her mother or her father. I'm not really sure. Don't quote me on that. But I just feel like he might have done either one. Wait, oh, you know what? It might be in the Sand People's territory. But it's near the East Dune Sea uh, entrance. So that's what it seems like. It could be. I don't know. Tatooine's kind of a question out here. Because there's so many different... Oh, There is something over there. Yeah, so the entrance to the... Okay. Okay, so it's closer to the entrance of... Okay, we can take out the droid. Let's go. Okay, now we get to do this. So we're going to reactivate the droid. So this is an option. So what we're going to do is, from what I remember, is we're going to reactivate this droid to find a dude we're supposed to kill, and the droid's probably going to kill the guy. At least I think that's what's happening. He's either going to bring him out if the droid can't kill him, or if the droid actually does do does do kill him. Oh, I can't speak. I'm sorry. Does kill him. <laughs> then we'll have we'll have already completed our objective. So uh, yeah, Let's see if we can get this done. So yeah, boy, tell tell us where he is. That's right. Show us the prize. Show us the prize. Come on. Big money, big money, no whammy. Oh, look, a Gamorrean. Hello. If you surrender now, I'll let you live. I'm only saying it's because he's a Gamorrean, and Gamorreans don't understand anything. <sighs> Ah! <laughs> 
I'll give him credit though for being tough. A tough opponent, but. Oh, he saved. Yeah, so he's actually pretty good at fighting. Oh, Master Speed, that's right. I keep forgetting to do that. Yeah, we got Dark Side points. Hey, I shouldn't have got Dark Side points. I told him he had a chance to surrender. Oh, there's a data. How many data pads are we going to get? Like, this is it's to the point where all the data pads are looking alike. Let me see. I think someone sent it to him. Anyways, so wait, I'm gonna give you a chance to look at it. Oh wait, it must have went. Wait, wait. Cause it's not once I look at it, it's not a new item anymore. So yeah, that's unfortunate. Uh, you guys can pause it and look at it, I guess. So, oh, I looked at it. He doesn't have any more remains, does he? Nah, because I keep doing this and I keep cycling it. Yeah, he doesn't have any... Okay, so... Wow. Okay, so... Oh, another... There's another crate Dragon, so... Yeah. Wait, where's the entrance? This is a very odd entrance. Wait, 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 wait. Does this go to... The Do okay, this goes to the Dune Sea. So, wow, Juhani just had... I can't get over there. Okay. That is just crazy. Okay, anyways. So we killed a third guy. And we're going to kill the fourth. Okay. Now, when we go to Kashik, I may or may not bring. Yeah, I'll probably I may or may not bring mission with me. Cause I don't know if we we did any. Uh if you're not sure what I'm talking about, I believe we still have to get um Yeah, we still have to get tack glands. And I'm not sure. Like, there's a way we get the tack gland. And I don't want to go to Kashik before talking to Mission's brother. So, uh, unlike Juhani's uh, side quest, Car I mean Karth, whoa, whoa, not Karth, Kandorus is, his, his side quest seems to happen kind of awkwardly. I think it only happens if you're with him on Korriban, but don't quote me on that. Like, I don't exactly remember. Hey, what's up? You know, I always thought that Duros looked like um, typical aliens, like how, how people imagine aliens to be. I wonder if that makes them look like, I don't know. Uh, what's the word? I, I'm not gonna be able to think of the word. So, I guess the boring plebeian aliens, where it's like, oh, you're not trendy at all. You're just a stereotype. Yeah, I'm pretty sure plebe is not the right word. <laughs> so, forgive me for using that word. So, we're gonna go to Zerker office and see. Um. I mean, I can ask him to see if. Uh, I mean, we'll help him and all that, but you're back. I knew. 
Oh, so we do. Okay, we do have it. See, okay, for you guys that knew that I had it, you got you got to remember the episode that I did. This was recorded two years, at least two year, two or three years in the past. So I don't remember. You guys gotta forgive me for that. Uh, I'll be back when I have the clue. Yeah, I kind of told them I. I want mission to be here when I do this. And we can't change part. Well, oh, we can change party members. I thought we could. I could have sworn we couldn't change party members, but I guess we can. So I'm gonna take Juhani out because we already know about her. Okay, so. You're back. Here's the tech gland. Take it. Come to Papa, you sweet simian organ. It may not look like much, but once I turn this into a bottle of Teresian ale, it'll end up being worth a fortune. Thanks, Mission. I advise you to uh, hire people to help you. Please, Griff, let this be the last time. No more cons, no more scams, no more schemes. That's all I ask. Hey, sis, no need to worry about that. I've turned over a new leaf. From now on, I'm gonna stay out of trouble and do things right. And once we've cornered the market on Teresian Ale, good things will be heading my way. Then I'll make it up to your mission. Just wait, you'll see. You know, once we synthesize this and start growing Teresian Ale in mass quantities, we're gonna be looking for some investors. You give me a couple of hundred credits, and I can get you... Uh, no. <laughs> There's a little like suckers written on my face. Anywhere. And I promise you, it's not the eyebrows. You don't know much about business, do you? When an op Ask me again that <laughs> Ask me again that tag gland won't be the only freshly harvested organ around here. Yo, this game is savage. You, okay, you guys, for those of you who never done it, you guys have got to play Dark Side. You will love it. Or at least if not, you got to pick some of these funny, uh, you know, choices. I don't need business advice from you, Griff. You've already fucked up enough, honestly, anyways. So why would I take advice from you when you're struggling? I'm the one who, ran out, who went out here to do this shit. You are going to have to deal, pal. It's your loss. I better get started oh, I don't, I don't, I don't want any of that. I, I just want you to succeed. You. Make your sister proud. Did we ever talk to her about... I don't know. I feel like we didn't talk to her. Oh, you know what? I should go in there and check. See, you, like I said, you guys got to understand. It's been about three to four years since I've done this. So I don't remember past plans that were like, Dan Tween, uh, I'm, not, I'm not worried about it. Obviously, since it's been destroyed. Uh, I'm not worried about Kashik too much either. But you saw I had to go back to Manon for Hulus, right? There are certain things you just have to remember. The reason I wanted to talk to her because I think we might. Did we ever give her the gaffy stick? Greetings again from the offices of Zerk. You have fulfilled your end of the bargain, and Zerk. Okay, we did fulfill. Okay, okay. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Farewell. Okay, that was cool. Whoa. I'm gonna turn around and I ran forward. I don't like the sound of this. Of course he did. Cause why again, why the fuck not? He could have asked me for more than one gland. Like, seriously. This is why if you're gonna try something for the first time, you need you need and like you're gonna use up ingredients or items or whatever have more than one have more than one it just makes sense why am I not surprised anything else well mission we tried we tried we, re we really did did he say where he's going See, this is why I'm glad I didn't give him the damn money. Because there's no telling if he would have did good or not on his promise. One of the worst employees I ever had. Always on break. He mixed up orders. And he might have been stealing. Wow. 
Lena was right, and that's who I do remember, Lena. I have to go after him. <laughs> There's no point, but I'm gonna say it anyways, cause uh, he doesn't owe me anything, cause I didn't give him any money, and I don't wanna say good riddance, cause that might hurt Mission's feelings. <laughs> Oh, don't I know it? You're not telling me nothing I don't already know. Damn it, Griff. Won't you ever learn? How can my own flesh and blood be so stupid? There's an answer, but you don't want to hear it, trust me. Well, at least he said that to you, Mission. Now, Mission's storyline has closure. What about you, Candorous? Hey there. Can I do for you? Okay. So I want to talk to you about your brother. I want to thank you for helping me with Griff. You you did everything you could for my brother. More than most people would have. I know it might look like it didn't make any difference in the end. Griff's in debt and on the run like usual. But at least I know we tried to help him. You need to apologize to Lena. I'm just saying it right now. You need to go find her and apologize. Whoa, you can say that. Uh, I'm not going to say that. Now, here's the thing. If you say uh, these three, she will kind of agree with you. And if you say one of these, I forget which one it is, she will really agree with you. But you shouldn't give up. He can still change. Now, I don't believe that shit, but light side and all that. I know people can change no matter how bad they were, but uh, I'm not holding my breath. None of us is perfect, but I've come to realize that Griff is a little less perfect than most. My brother is what he is, but I've learned to deal with that. I'll never forget that he looked after me when I was just a kid, but I don't feel like I owe him anything anymore. You okay? I've made my peace with Griff and what he means to me. If he ever shows up again, I'll deal with him. But I'm not going to dwell on my brother anymore. It's time to move forward. So, is there anything else you need? Nope. Okay, have it your way. Oh, we got some light side points. Holy crap. That's not going to save us from being neutral, but whatever. We're probably going to end up a great, Je uh, great Jedi after everything's said and done. Which I've always wanted to do. I I've never played a, a playthrough as a... Uh, gray Jedi. Uh, the benefit of being a gray Jedi is you have access to all force powers without penalty. But in return, you don't get any benefits either. You can actually, as a light side Jedi, you can use dark side moves, but it costs a lot, a lot more. And if you're dark side and you want to lose a light side uh, move, it costs a lot more as well. I'm pretty sure I, di I didn't go over that. There's so much to this game. It's so complex. For what it is, uh, you'd be surprised. But yeah, it's a pretty fun game. Okay, so, back on the ship. Back on the ship. Wait, was there... Oh, okay, he's walking around. I was gonna say, I thought he was just blankly sitting there. So... We did finish some character storylines. Uh, like I said, uh, Bastila and Karth, theirs are up in the air until the end of the game, pretty much. And I pretty much explained what's going to happen with those characters in previous episodes. Uh, Candrus's little storyline is not done yet, but I don't know when I can access his, and I don't know how to. HK, there's no point to his, because he really doesn't have a storyline and by now it wouldn't matter anyway because we found out that apparently I'm Darth Revan. Uh, as far as Jolie, uh, he really doesn't have a storyline. His is more like tell. His he's more of a storyteller. I mean, we can we can ask him for anything else, but uh, we don't really need one. But hey, how many could you possibly need? Ask me later when you're actually in need. And Got something on your Why did you leave the Jedi? I'm just so curious. 
<laughs> Who said I left the Jedi? You said you weren't a Jedi any longer. Well, technically, I was only a Padawan. Not that that makes a difference to most, but as for the Order itself, no. Oh, Lord, I technicalities, technicalities. Okay, I don't have time for this. What are you talking about? A wizard? <laughs> there are moments when I think you must be much older than you seem, but this isn't one of them. You know what I hate? Well, oh, of course not. Really, I wouldn't expect that. Easily annoyed, but that's besides the point. What I really hate are how most people view the Jedi. Everyone thinks that the Jedi are perfect, that they can do no wrong. They think the Jedi Council is completely incapable of injustice. Well, I certainly don't think that. Look at Rook. He's so high and mighty, that's not even funny. I guess you aren't as stupid as you sometimes act. No doubt. So I'm young, but not stupid. Okay, keep trying me, old man. I'm not even talking about how some of us fall to the dark side. We're going to find you in the disposable unit. Keep playing. But it's something else in time. Beat you to goddamn Zalbar. He'll eat anything. Not, your average robe wearing Jedi can try to do the right thing and still be completely wrong. Nobody can be right about everything, but I don't understand. That's true, but it's not what I meant. I guess I'm not. Being Stop being quick. Come to think of it, I don't have to be clear. Someone my age is entitled to ramble, damn it. But for your sake, I'll try to explain. I'll tell you a little tale about a Jedi master I once knew. Hortath, I think. Or was it Hortoff? Ah, I could never get it straight. Is this guy? <laughs> Yo, let's pick it. You know the problem with the youth today? They're young. Where was I then? Oh, oh yes. <laughs> Master Hortath. He was a kindly old Jedi who meant well. But the most nearsighted thing in the core, I swear. He would walk into walls, knock over tables, mistake apprentices for rancor beasts, that sort of thing. And he How? was too proud to submit to proper treatment. Uh, Some used to counsel him in the urge to use the you know force, what? Master Hordath. Allow the force to see for you. But he refused to believe that his eyes were failing. He simply squinted more. There are some Jedi that can use the force to see. The other Jedi resignedly passed. Maybe one day we'll see one of them. Quirk of a compassionate old man. Ah, <sighs> well, he might as well go on. What else? So, one day a young Padawan meets Master Hordath in the courtyard and, not knowing of his blindness, asks him for directions to the council. Quite sure of himself, Hordath gave the lad directions, which happened to lead back outside and away from the Enclave. Padawan is confused, naturally. He asks if Master Hordath is sure, and of course Master Hordath says that he is. The Padawan suggests that perhaps he should ask someone else. But the proud Hordath now feels insulted. He tells the Padawan to take the route he prescribed and no other. Here's a twist. It was Brook in disguise. As he was told, and so ended up <laughs> Jedi I'm just kidding. Forever. It was decided that the boy's fate was to leave the Order anyway. Though whether that was out of respect for Hordath or because the boy went on to something else, well, we'll never know. He could have became a Sith, all that messing around Hortath did. Uh, confused. Not much. I never knew the Padua nor met Master Hordath himself. He was before my time. Okay, you know, this was a waste of time. I should have cussed you out for the minute you started. The tale is about blindness, and I thought the point was clear. At any rate, you think it was about forgetfulness. You're the one who asked why the Jedi left me, remember? Now let's get going. My feet are itching for a good run. Uh huh. Well, I suppose you can always go to Juhani's yoga class. Of course, Candorus never does it, cause you know it's uh, Ichani related stuff. But hey. Okay, let's go to Kashik.
Oh, better yet, I'm gonna hold off on this. And wait until the next episode. This is your boy Beastamon, and I will see you next time. Later.